All right, so money in football is insane these days, we know that. But let's take a look at the 10 most expensive players of all time and see where they were five years ago. That's the year 2013, by the way, for anyone over the age of 60 or just for those of you who went to school in Blackpool. Virgil van Dijk. Let's go back five years in time. Celtic had just signed an Edgar Davids lookalike from Groningen for £2.5 million. Without a cap to his name, this defender was expected to see out the next few years stuck in the same team as George Samaras, winning trophies in a division as easy as Kerry Katona on a night out. But no, Virgil van Dijk has since left Scotland for Southampton, or as they're more commonly known, the Anfield Factory, and is now the most expensive defender that ever lived. Romelu Lukaku. £75 million for Romelu Lukaku. I bet Jose Mourinho never thought he'd be forking out that much cash for the Belgian after he exiled him to Everton back when he was at Chelsea. Back in 2013, that's exactly where he was. Returning to Stamford Bridge with his confidence sky high following an excellent loan spell with West Brom, he missed a penalty in the Super Cup, was ushered out the back door to Goodison Park and was practically never seen again, leaving Chelsea fans to watch the Belgian side of the World Cup and no doubt feel like drowning themselves in a bowl of Weetabix. Gonzalo Higuain. Two years ago, Juventus chalked £75 million at Napoli for a 28-year-old Gonzalo Higuain. He's 2018 and he's just been banished alone to AC Milan. Money well spent, lads. I hope you kept the receipt. There's no receipts in football. This isn't Tesco. Five years ago, Higuain had just left Real Madrid for Napoli in a 40 million euro deal, leaving Arsene Wenger to cry into his pillow as he was forced to make do with Yaya Sonogo instead. A man whose attempts at football were genuinely comical to the eye. Gareth Bale. Five years ago, Gareth Bale was pretty much where he is right now. A blockbuster 85 million pound signing for Real Madrid in the summer of 2013, leaving Daniel Levy to spend the next three months panicking like Big Sam at the gym. It's only taken him half a decade to step out of Cristiano Ronaldo's massive shadow. To be fair, he scored 88 goals, winners in several cup finals, including arguably the greatest Champions League final goal of all time, and has more medals than he can dream of. Not sure why the fans ever felt like booing him, but then again, those fans will probably boo their own grandmother. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, Ronaldo actually makes this list twice, but I'll chuck him in here for the most recent deal, the £88.5 million transfer to Juventus. The fact he's managed to command such a transfer fee when he'll be turning 34 soon, Zinedine Zidane retired at 34 for God's sake, is testament to what a monster he is. The man has the body of a 20-year-old sprinter, most fellas in their mid-30s of beer bellies the size of Jupiter and love handles bigger than my future. Anyway, five years ago he just completed his fourth season at Real Madrid and had scored 55 goals in 55 games during the 12-13 campaign. Still didn't win anything though. Paul Pogba. Is anyone else bored of Paul Pogba yet? Jesus Christ, he seems to be all anyone has ever been talking about in the media for the last two years. The World Cup winner, who was once deemed unworthy of a midfield berth ahead of Park Ji Sung and Raphael, was five years ago making Sir Alex Ferguson feel quite foolish, having completed his first season at Juventus following his free transfer switch from Old Trafford. At the age of 20, he just played 37 games, scored 5 goals, won a League and Cup double, the Golden Boy Award, Ousmane Dembele. Ousmane Dembele really should just not be on this list. I'm sorry, but in what world should Barcelona have ever spent £97 million on a kid who just scored 6 league goals the previous season? I think that just shows the panic stations in the camp following Neymar's departure that they blew so much money on the Russia Dortmund speedster. I mean, we're a year later and he's being linked with at least 6 different moves and it's by no means a guaranteed starter. Anyway, 5 years ago, what was Dembele doing? Probably sitting in a field drinking cans and rubbing one out. I mean, what do most 16 year olds do? Okay, no, he was in the Rennes Academy and part of the French under 17 team, all right? Philippe Coutinho. It's funny how so many injuries seem to pop up for players when they're in the middle of negotiating moves away. Philippe Coutinho had a supposed back injury last year. Thibaut Courtois sat out training because he was sad. Jesus Christ. Anyway, Mr. Philippe Coutinho, one of Barcelona's gems, was five years ago starting his first full season at Anfield, having arrived from Inter Milan for 8.5 million in January. He'd go on to score five goals that season, including a late season winner against Manchester City as Liverpool romped to the Premier League title. Wait, I think I might have got part of that wrong. Kylian Mbappe. If anyone is going to be the most expensive teenager ever, it's fitting that it's Kylian Mbappe and not some wet blanket like Bruno Cheru. As we saw at the World Cup, this fella is the real deal. The PSG forward, who will win a Ballon d'Or, don't worry about that, was five years ago getting snapped up by the Monaco Youth Academy at the age of 14. Oh, and he also seemed to have a Kathy Bates type infatuation for Cristiano Ronaldo. Probably a good job those two never ended up at Real Madrid together, or Kylian might just have snuck into his room late at night to sniff locks of his hair. Neymar, the 200 million pound man. Love him or hate him, most seem to hate him. I wonder why. He'll probably raise this price tag before his career is out because I really cannot see him staying in France for the rest of his life. Honestly, don't even know why he's there now. You'd think PSG to Barcelona would be a progression, not the other way around. I don't know about you, but pissing around against bang average fullbacks from Toulouse and Saint Etienne, I mean, it's like playing FIFA 19 against your cat. Anyway, five years ago, Neymar just swapped Santos or Barcelona in a 57 million euro deal. Although, who knows, considering the investigation that followed. He had his critics in his first season, scoring nine league goals and was almost chased out of European football altogether. And Neymar in Europe has failed. Not going to be up there with Ronaldo and Messi ever. As for Neymar, 
Um, he had a nightmare season at Barcelona. He scored 11 goals all season, only nine of them in the league. Uh, to say he's great would be a huge exaggeration. At the moment, Dunphy thinks he used to think Ronaldo was a poor man's James Milner.